Hey, welcome back everyone. My name is Shas and welcome to Wordies. And today we are talking about the FRM part one study planner for November 25. So if you have your exam in the November 25 attempt, this particular study planner will be absolutely helpful. And before we proceed, just like to mention that we do provide coaching for both the FRM part one and two as well, including the questions bank, the crash course, everything to help you pass the FRM exam in your upcoming attempt. So if you are interested, so you can check out our website for more details on the offerings. Now, what I've done here is that I have, you know, made sure that starting from June till September, you actually complete your entire FRM part one curriculum. OK, so that is what the study planner talks about. It gives you a plan so that every single week you can track your progress. You know what to study, when to study. Right. So. This is what I have covered in this particular study planner so that by the end of September, you complete your curriculum and you're good to go. And then in the month of October, you actually complete your revision, your mock exams, your more practice questions, so on and so forth. Right. So everything has been designed in such a way that you get ample amount of time in the last month before your exam as well. OK, so having said that, let's get right into it. Now, this is going to be a 16 week study planner. Every week, I have ensured few things that you complete certain amount of chapters. You get a regular revision of what you've learned so far. It's very crucial. What happens is as you move across time, you tend to forget things. Right. So revision or revising previous what you've learned, whatever that you've learned, that is absolutely crucial. Secondly, it's, it's also important that we need to consider a break or a breather, right? So that we avoid a burnout. We feel refreshed once we start the second week. So this is absolutely crucial. Now, few points. If you are a working professional, probably on a Saturday or a Sunday, that is when you might be getting most amount of hours or time, basically, right? So you need to make sure that on the weekends, you have to devote maximum number of hours for your studies and you can adjust this particular number of chapters so on and so forth as per your individual circumstance okay as i said if you are a working professional probably on a monday you may due to work events you may not be able to devote time to the prep no worries we will consider this to be as a break for you right but you have to ensure that you give maximum number of time on weekends so that you cover these assigned chapters okay that is a thought process but the point remains this that these are the assigned number of chapters for every week if you follow this for the next 16 weeks you'll be able to complete the entire frm part one curriculum by september the end of september and then as i said one month is left for mock and revision so this is how i've structured now if you are a, a student probably you can follow the same plan as it is you can probably revise on sunday or maybe take a break on sunday as per your individual circumstance but this is the broad thing that i want you to observe let me just explain you what we have in this particular table so here we have the date which starts from 9th of june till 15th of june that is monday till sunday then we have in the next column we chapter or the topics like every chapter that you are assigned per week then in the next column we have a chapter completion status so You've completed a certain number of certain chapter, make it a yes or a no. Did you solve the chapter wise question for this, let's say probability chapter? Yes. And what has been your score? I'd mention that 60%, 70%, 80%. What has been your score? Now, everything is very helpful. For example, if you mention your scores here, then maybe by the end of the week or after a certain time, you can actually check out your performance on a specific chapter or a weak area and that will help you to identify that particular weak spot and you can work on it right that is why scores are really important the other thing that we have is whether you solved a chapter wise quizzes or not if anything is pending you can track it and you can do it later at the same time i've also input an optional column which is the hours studied per day so if you have studied two hours three hours on every single day by the end of the week, you can calculate for yourself like how many hours you studied per week and how much hours would you be able to devote for the upcoming weeks as well. So that will help you to track the number of hours that you study 
power so that's what i have done here this is how you need to go ahead and you need you need to utilize it now we'll explain you what i've done here so for quantitative analysis what i've done is i've reserved four week week number one two three and four 15 chapters are distributed in such a way that we start off with these chapters starting from 9th of june till 15th of june so this this week this particular week you complete these five chapters that we have right yes it, it is now since we are starting out we have to complete we are fresh so we may cover a lot in the very first week then in the second week if you look at it we have to complete four chapters uh hypothesis testing regression right and hypothesis testing this will help you in completing the regression multiple regressions so all these things are quite related to each other complete that within a week then revise what you've learned or maybe you can take a breather as well right so the next third week we complete the two chapters of time series correlation and uh, measuring returns and simulation and bootstrapping you complete these things you revise you have a target until 29th of june and then by 6th of july you actually just have two chapters left that is machine learning once you are done with that you would have plenty of time for revising what you've learned in the entire quads right do that at the same time you can practice the book wise quantitative analysis questions the entire book wise do some quizzes just for that that will help you to understand your performance in the entire quantitative analysis right that is what the thing is and one thing is this that i have created this in a pdf format so that you can actually keep this next to you and uh, you can you know mark these things by yourself when we have it in the excel sheet sometimes we may open it sometimes we may not open it and uh, it doesn't give that feeling right when you have something right next to your desk keeps you motivated it keeps you you know it, it, it gives that internal thing that yes you have to look into it and you have to complete that that's why i've created this in a pdf format take a print out keep it next to you okay talking about the fmp similarly you can look at all the chapters that has been assigned you can download this pdf and you can go through it as i said four weeks are devoted for the fmp and by all focus you can actually complete the entire FMP as well as practice the book wise questions of entire FMP. Similarly, I've assigned five weeks. Yes, five weeks for VRM. A lot of people find VRM to be technical. It is obviously valuations of risk models. So you need to dedicate decent amount of time. It has fixed income or bonds as well. So I've incorporated that here as well. And uh, that is how that you need to go ahead and you need to do that at right? five weeks you have assigned just one thing here week number 12 if you look at it 25th of august what i've done is properties of interest this is from fmp chapter but i feel that this should be taken simultaneously when you take the bonds chapter if you take this on a standalone basis in the fmp probably you may not get that intuition so that's why i've incorporated that in the vrm uh, book okay so make sure that you know I've, I've i've made sure that you give dedication to revision breaks book wise fmp question everything that we have it here and if you follow foundations of risk management you would realize that we have week 14 week 15 so three weeks are dedicated to the foundations of risk management and once you do that by 28th of september including the breaks revision practice everything right you are effectively completing your frm part one curriculum okay so this is how i've designed this particular study planner keep it next to you and you can always customize it if you want but the pattern remains the same so with that being said guys thank you so much for your time i'll see you in the next video thank you